You've probably wondered where they get names for hurricanes. Well, actually, hurricanes aren't named. It's the tropical storms that are named, and then if it turns into a hurricane, it keeps the name of the tropical storm. They used to be named by a system of latitude and longitude, but this was confusing and hard to remember. In 1953, the National Weather Service started using names of women to name tropical storms, and in 1979, they started alternating with names of men. There are six lists of names in use for storms in the Atlantic. The lists rotate once every year, and a list will not be reused for another six years. Each name on the list starts with a differing letter. The first hurricane of the season starts with an A, then B, and so on. The letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z are not used. If a storm causes a large amount of damage or takes many lives, they will retire the name from the list, and another name will replace it after the next six-year naming cycle. For example, there will not be another Hurricane Katrina. The name to replace it will be Katia. If for some reason there's a year with a lot of hurricanes and the list of names is used up, the National Hurricane Center will simply turn to the Greek alphabet. We would then have Hurricane Alpha, Beta, etc. They should probably start using more menacing sounding names, like Samuel L. Jackson or Murderthon 6000. I mean, if I heard that Hurricane Mr. T was coming, I'd get out of town in a hurry.